All right. Yeah, that's just a simple problem. Okay, so you can see the rock fluid already ticked. So we complete reservoir section, component section, and rock fluid section. And then, yeah, we will define the initial conditions. We go to the next section, open drop down menu, initial condition, double click. Yeah, this one. This is to set the initial condition before there is any production. Okay, so we will perform gravity capillary equilibrium. So CMG will use this method, gravity and capillary equilibrium for this reservoir to set the initial condition of the reservoir prior to production, prior to any development. So it's still, so the CMG will set the virgin condition of the reservoir. And yes, we select water oil gas system and then just reference pressure and depth. So the pressure, the depth, and then the face contact depth, uh, the, the reference, I think we can make it 1,000 or 2,000 or this one and depth previously 2000 we can set for the datum 2500 and i will set the water oil contact and gas oil contact for example the gas oil contact is the depth is 2000 so yeah 2050 okay whereas for the water oil contact so our thickness Previously 2000, yeah, we need to check that. Or we can check the, click OK first. Yeah, there will be a problem. Okay, I will close. I will check the grid first. Okay, array properties. Yeah, because it is just a generated case, it's not a real case. So yes, some problem there. So for example, if I want to make layer seven, the water oil contact. So 2000, this one is five, 15, 30, 50, 75, 105, and later 140. So I will make 105. Okay, I will set for the initial condition. Okay. It's okay. 2,000 feet or 2,100 feet or 2,050 feet. Okay. As a datum. And then the water oil contact will be 2,105. Okay. Whereas for the gas oil contact is 2050, or this can also be 2070. And then bubble point input format, reservoir initially saturated, yeah, can, okay. All right, so click apply, okay. So this will set up the initial condition of our reservoir. All right, okay, so you can check already tick. You can check the calculation method, this window. And if you want to set advanced parameters, you can also set at this section. For more options, use the advanced interface. Okay, but we will skip it. Okay, for numerical setting, already okay. Everything will be set as per default by the CMG, we can use the default. And geomechanics, if you want to perform ge geomechanic analysis, okay, no need for that. So we can use the default tracer data. So we will not use tracer here. Wells and recurrent, this is a must. So it is very, very important. 
we need to uh, provide the wells and also the timestamp, the dates. I will start with the dates first. 